Now, back to From Idol to Inspiration. With his power, he has raised me. My name is Melinda Doolittle, and I was on season six of American Idol. I came in third, and it was perfect. I am a firm believer that Jesus knows what he's doing. He has done with his blood, he has saved. I have been a Christian since I can remember, since I could talk. I grew up with my mommy, and she loves the Lord. She's one of the strongest women of God I know. God has full control over everything, and things happen for a reason, so I, uh, I lived that very much so during American Idol, just knowing, okay, if I'm here another week, there's gotta be a reason, <laughs> because I am scared out of my mind. I was saved when I was four years old, and I looked at my mom and I was like, I'm, I'm ready to go up there, and um, I remember going up to the front and asking Jesus into my heart, and um, being just excited at that point, because I knew that Jesus loved me, and that he had taken the time and the effort to die for me. All that I am. I love music. I have always loved music ever since I, I was a little girl. To thee. I grew up tone deaf. So um, all the way through the seventh grade, um, I was awful. Um, I would audition for choirs and they would be like, you have so much charisma, so we're going to put you right in the middle. We want you to smile and move your mouth. Just don't let any sound come out. And I was like, okay. And um, I went to my mom and I was like, I want to sing. I love music so much. I want to sing. And she's like, oh, baby, you're going to have to pray because it is not happening right now. And there was a talent show coming up with my youth group. And I was like, that's my goal. It's one month from today. That's what I want to do. And um, I practiced and practiced, and it was still bad. And, <laughs> um, but I got up there to sing in that talent show, and a voice came out of me that I, I had never heard. And I looked out, and, and people were standing up, and they were clapping, and, and, and I was like, does that mean it was good? I say that, that Jesus happened. The only thing that could have helped me out of that was a miracle. And so because of that, I, I understand that this is a gift. I wake up My time on American Idol was traumatic. Um, that is the best word I can think of. Um, I, it, it, was, it was scary. And I was like, am I supposed to be here, Lord? Okay, I know that. I know I thought you sent me here, but seriously, am I supposed to be here? I didn't sing Christian songs necessarily. I didn't, I didn't talk about my faith very much, but I get people coming up to me all of the time saying, I see, I see something different. What's different? And it opens all kinds of doors for me to just say, blame it on Jesus. I, I sing music that I believe in. A lot of it happens to be mainstream. I just tell a story about life, and I believe that there are so many aspects of my life, um, one of which is being a Christian, definitely. There's a song on the record called We Will Find a Way, and a song called I Will Be that really speak to my heart as a Christian. I trust God a lot more since Idol, and a lot of that is because I have no other choice. We will celebrate these wars. Yeah. And I've had to just completely trust and lay it all on God and be like, okay, you know, if I have peace about it, then I'm going for this route. It's gonna be all right. And you get to make it work. It can't be on me. So it, it has made me definitely trust a lot more. All things happen for me. Faith for me has to factor in every choice I make. Um, just because um, in this in this business there there's so much going on and so much coming at you that the only way for me to even even believe that I'm making the right choice is to rely on my faith. To God be the glory. 
I am reminded on a daily basis of who I should be. I like to listen to worship music and remind myself of who God is. And when I remind myself of who He is, it's very easy to know who I am, you know, and, and to know that He is the one that deserves the glory. All that I am and ever hope to be, I owe it all to Thee. Coming up, this season's finalist whose faith was challenged in the most profound way possible.